right, so today I'm gonna kind of mess around with this whole vlog kind of idea. Um, I'm right now, I'm on my way to take care of a few things um, in this earlier part of the day. And then a little bit later today, I have somebody coming who is bringing some turtles and tortoises for me uh, from my buddy Charlie Moorcroft in Florida. And really excited to get some of these. Um, and uh, it'll be fun, we'll pick those up. And we'll do a little bit of an unboxing and show you guys that stuff today. But first, uh, right now, I'm gonna kinda head over, get some exercise this morning, get a little bit of skating in. I don't know, just kinda see what happens. So, yeah, it was first attempt at doing this, so. I guess try not to make it suck. All right, made it to the uh, made it to the skate spot. Got this kind of old board, and uh, just gonna you know mess around here for a little bit. See if I can get my body moving. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, DIY spot. Some local guys have kind of just brought some stuff up here. Kind of brought a bunch of things up here to mess around on. Not particularly fancy. But, you know, good time. So yeah, those are some like basic warm ups because you don't really have to like, on a low flat bar like that, you don't have to like pop into it. So I like to kind of, just kind of do little board slides and then see how I'm feeling. This is the most important thing right here, getting some water. It's 97 degrees today. So not sure how much skating I'll do. All right, so meeting up with Charlie's friend and she's gonna have some turtles for me. So I'm excited to see it. So cool, this is them. Oh, look at that, perfectly packaged and everything. Yeah. Easy drive. It was pretty easy. Olivia, shush. Um, that's my dog. Um, just a little bit of traffic in Atlanta, but. Okay, back at the house. And we're gonna set this tub down. And we're going to start unboxing. We're gonna take a look and we're gonna see uh, what all we got from Charlie. Uh, right here we have, you know, all this. Have the uh, import paperwork from Georgia DNR. Uh, this way, uh, we can cross from Florida to Georgia legally with uh, a couple of these that happen to be native species. With that said, let's do a first tub. To see what's in here. All right. Okay. Where the tape goes on that. All right. So. All right. So this is cool. Check out what this is. Captive bred southern painted turtles. Now you guys might have seen these in a video I did uh, last fall where I went to northern Mississippi and on the it was basically on the way back from my Mississippi trip I stopped and uh, found some southern painted turtles and I just thought they were so neat. I'm a big fan of painted turtles and Charlie happens to have some captive bred southern painteds. So this appears to be a female. You can tell she's got the short claws shorter tail awesome beautiful southern painted turtle so we're gonna put her back in here right now we're just checking to make sure everybody's good and then we'll start moving these guys into some habitats see so here's another let's see what this is now I know there's supposed to be yep that is another southern painted turtle do this again Go. All right, look at that. Nice male southern panther. You can definitely tell it's a male by those claws. Check that out. Those are some serious claws there. Really pretty turtles. Southern painters are really just so unique. It's funny compared to like the Easterns, they really have like a narrow open. What are you doing? This has nothing in it. And that's what I plan on keeping them in. So they have like a nice planted tub to hang out in. Um, but I'm gonna keep an eye on them because this doesn't have a top on it yet. So we're just gonna do this while I'm doing this unboxing. Let's see what we have here. I see, you know what that is. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is pretty exciting. Check this out. Beautiful 
cherry head. Look at that guy. Wow. What an awesome little cherry head tortoise. So beautiful. And again, these came from my buddy Charlie Moorcroft. I think these weren't necessarily bred by Charlie. I think these came from a friend of his. Um, one of the things I mentioned in a previous video is making friends and networking. And you know, if you want animals, trading animals. And um, that's something that Charlie's done. And that's kind of where these guys come from. So that's the first one. That duct tape is strong, man. Duct tape in the summer. All right, another one just as pretty as the previous one. Wow, it's gonna be hard to tell these guys apart. I think this guy's got a bigger black blotch on the bottom, but another beautiful cherry head tortoise. Good looking shell, great looking pattern on the head. I mean, check out that color. These are just absolutely gorgeous. Great condition. Beautiful cherry head tortoises. All right, so let's do the next one. Another cherry head tortoise. Let's take a look at this one. Wow. Look at this one, man. Look at that marbling. That is just, I mean, just insane. So pretty. Beautiful cherry head tortoises. Fantastic growth, great marbling, great color. I'm Honestly, at like a loss for words, this is so generous. I, I can't believe it. This one's a little bit different. Let's check this guy out. So this is a very unique cherry head tortoise because he's black. He has almost no red on him. Has no red on the legs except for maybe one or two scales. The top of his head has very little red on him. You can see this guy's just got very little red. He's you know, very, very dark, which is super cool and super different. I mean, I don't even think I've seen a regular red foot tortoise with this much black. So um, just something very different, very cool. Um, I really like it. It's, it's different and unique and um, it'll be fun to raise this guy up and see what happens with that color because that's definitely something very different going on there. All right, we still have some more turtles left. Let's see what we have. Now, I believe this one was donated to Charlie. Um, this one came from somebody that had captive raised this. And the growth might not be perfect, but I believe it's otherwise a pretty healthy a little Florida box turtle. Now, as you can see, her shell's a little bit different, a little bit kind of pitted and, and a little sunk in. Um, and I believe that's just from, you know, captive care. Could be from being kept indoors, uh, could be from diet. But otherwise, bright-eyed, active, and you know, otherwise very, very beautiful. So, um, very pretty, you know, sub-adult um, or large juvenile Florida box turtle. And uh, and excited to help this girl out and give her a good place to live and uh, be able to use her in education programs. So, uh, always, always happy to to have new educational animals. And open and. Check this guy out. What do you think of that for a three-toed box turtle? Is that something else or what? Now, I'm not entirely sure this is a pure three-toed box turtle. Um, the carapace looks a little interesting. It looks almost like a pattern you would see on like an Eastern or a Florida, uh, but the head is very much like the head you would see on a three-toed box turtle. And just an absolute, I mean, I don't know, man, that might be one of the prettiest box turtles I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, that thing is just incredible. Just an incredible box turtle. And I, I thank Charlie for, for sending this guy to me. Um, another, you know, turtle that'll be part of education programs. As you can see, he's really comfortable with people, uh, not bothered by people at all. So he'd be great for, you know, bringing and showing kids and, and educating kids on turtles and box turtles. and. Um, just kind of um, being an ambassador. So really happy to be able to have this guy and work with this guy and um, he seemed pretty outgoing. That is probably the craziest box turtle I have ever seen. I mean, just from every angle, just an insane, insanely patterned turtle. 
Wow. Incredible. Thank you so much, Charlie, for um, holding on to this guy and, and just, I don't know, man. I need to put on some sunglasses. This dude is bright. All right, we have one more left, and it's one that I'm really excited about. It's one that um, I've always wanted to have in my Native Turtle Education program, but I've never actually had before. Um, and it's, it's a turtle where I had usually, to describe this turtle to people, usually to describe this turtle to people in my education programs, I would bring like an Eastern painted turtle or something with me. And because I didn't have one of these, I would, you know, take an Eastern painted turtle and I would, you know, tell people like, oh, another turtle we have in Georgia that's protected looks a lot like this. Imagine this all black and covered in polka dots. And that is the spotted turtle. Um, I had to have this added to my, you know, state permit because this is a protected species in Georgia. Um, and, you know, this is a turtle that in the video I did with Charlie, you got to see that he has a pond where he raises these and captive breeds these. And so he's worked with spotted turtles for a long time and this guy's captive bred and just a beautiful example of a spotted turtle. And I'm really, really, really happy to be able to, um, have one of these guys and be able to share them with you. I mean, just a beautiful turtle. Um, I'm stoked beyond words. I'm thankful and humbled beyond words that Charlie would be so uh, kind of gracious and generous to send me one of these guys. Um, I'm thankful to the state of Georgia for letting me add this to my permit. And um, I'm glad to actually now be able to have a spotted turtle to be able to share with people when I do presentations on native Georgia turtles. So um, yeah, this is all the stuff I got from Charlie today. Uh, <laughs> It's kind of a lot. I'm really excited for all the cherry heads, the box turtles, the spotted turtles, and the southern painted turtles. It's gonna be really fun uh, working on habitats and kind of getting to know these guys. And I'll keep you guys updated on everything I do with them. Um, but for right now, uh, it's time to start getting everybody set up. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. Um, it's been a fun, fun day. Uh, I have some friends coming over later, so I'm gonna work on getting these turtles set up. And um, yeah, so appreciate you guys. Peace.